Hello and welcome everyone, this is Type V3, and I think it's time we take a look at a spacefaring bounty hunter. This is Figma Samus Aran by Max Factory, and even though this is one of Nintendo's most famous female leads, it's been quite rare that we get to see her in a fully posable toy form. Based off of her adventures in Metroid Other M, the power suit that Samus dons here is one of her more simplistic designs. Smooth, rounded edges, and minimal detailing give her a streamlined look that's quite refreshing from some of her more busy and cluttered designs from Metroid's past. Engulfed in a vibrant red, the helmet looks nice, but the real eye-catching piece is the visor. A bright metallic green with a thin layer of clear plastic on top makes it pop at every angle, even more so with direct sunlight. The rest of Samus is a beautiful combination of metallic orange, yellow, and red. Vivid spots of neon green help to emulate the lights on her suit, and the small additions of silver heels as well as the silver tips of her backpack give off a realistic look. Her cannon was also given a wonderful metallic teal finish whose contrast in colors blends nicely with the rest of this figure's palette. Now, it should be no surprise that Samus's articulation in her head is a little limited. It can go left and right, it can tilt and move slightly up and down, but overall it's not going to wow you. Uh, it is accurate to the game design, so it's not really an issue with me. The shoulders are on a separate joint than the arms, so you can get them to move independently of one another. There's even a bicep swivel here. But because of the size of these things, the extension on the arm is going to be limited. Uh, the elbows themselves have a nice, uh, really tight joint there. However, the other one, because it's a gun, is limited at a 90 degree angle. Uh, it's something that I think that was overlooked in the design, but it's nothing that I'm really going to be too disappointed with. The hands uh, got a nice hinge and rotates because they're replaceable, but I found that mine are really loose. They come out quite easily, so I'm going to have to tighten that up. There is a nice torso here, a nice ab crunch. The hips can move really well. They are connected on the same joint, so generally they move together, but you can move them independently. A nice knee joint is right there. Really nice ankles that rock and move forward. And there's even a really cool toe joint, which looks really nice in the way that the foot was designed, so really liking that. The overall articulation is good, but there are some curious issues and omissions that leave me wanting more. The torso joint is a little hampered by the design of the armor, and sometimes doesn't even look like it's been moved. Her upper body can get in the way of dynamic arm poses, especially when you want her to hold the cannon, but the biggest issue by far are her legs. Because they lack any sort of thigh, knee, or ankle swivel, this forces her lower body to almost always be facing forward, although you can find clever ways around this. These are largely small annoyances at best, and nothing truly horrible. Moving on, Samus comes with five single hands because, well, one of her arms is a cannon, so there's no need to deal with it. The first is a closed fist for looking strong and powerful. Next, a relaxed open palm for when she wants to wave kindly to her fans. She's got a fierce open palm for telling people to stop or emulating her favorite dance move. Next, she's even got a thumbs up hand for when she wants to pretend she's Kamen Rider Meteor. And lastly, a fist with an open hole so you can have her hold... random items? I don't know, she comes with nothing in the box to facilitate this feature, so I figured a cotton saw would probably be the next best thing. Now like most Figmas, Samus does come with a stand to help her out with more dynamic poses, and you could just plug it into her back, and then she can hold any sort of poses that basically defy gravity. As for accessories, she comes with two blast effect parts, one being this, and you can simply just put it into her cannon. Now she has a translucent pink blasting fire that's going on, and this looks really cool. She also can remove the tip of her cannon and replace it for another one that sort of emulates a missile being fired. Now you're thinking, Alright, so there's a missile blast effect part. Nope, you'd be wrong. Instead, what you have is a double blaster. And this is kind of confusing. I don't really understand the need to include two of these when the one would simply suffice. I would have preferred a missile, but uh, I guess beggars can't be choosers here. However, she does come with one more item. One of Samus' most famous abilities is to morph into a little ball, and although this figure can't actually do that, this set does come with a little replica of what it should look like. Although it could be argued that replacing the figure with a morph ball on the Figma stand is pretty much a parts forming gimmick. The paintwork is just as impressive as Samus herself, and there's a beautiful transparent green finish on the inside of the center line. But other than that, it really does nothing else. It's one of those items that seems to have been included just to appeal to the fans. As with all Figmas, Samus comes with a Figma bag in which you can store all of her accessories. Even though it's a bit crude in design, and not quite as elegant as the little plastic boxes that accompany Reveltech figures, it's a lot more usable as you can even fit Samus along with her display stand into the bag. The accessories as a whole are nice, but aren't super brilliant. 
While I like the changeable cannon tip, its use is almost meaningless without a missile blast effect part. The morph ball is a nice nod to the fans, but I would have preferred a swappable head in which Samus's eyes are visible through the visor. Better yet, a completely unhelmeted head altogether. As for her size, while most Figma figures are done in the 5 inch scale, Samus is quite large. Standing at just over 6 inches tall, the base figure is easily one of Figma's largest. That said, die-hard Metroid fans will know that Samus is 6 foot 3 and weighs 198 pounds without her suit, so I guess in a way, the exercise is justified. Now I'll be honest, as a huge Metroid fan, the choice of suit design in which Figma decided to tackle isn't my favorite. Like many others, I would have preferred to seen the power suit from Super Metroid, or my personal favorite, the fusion suit from Metroid Fusion. Seeing as how these could be derived from the current figure with some minor tweaks, hopefully they're just future releases just beyond the horizon, and not some fantasy pipe dream. Then again, as long as I'm casting meaningless wishes, the fanboy in me would love to see Figma's take on Zero Suit Samus. Overall, I think Figma Samus Aran is a fantastic figure. Sure, her articulation isn't perfect, and her accessories may seem questionable depending on what you look for in a toy, but the base figure is stellar. The sculpt and finish on the paint really capture the look of Samus, and the quality of the set is top-notch. It's also worth noting that any complaints I had throughout this review are all minor nitpicks at best, because when there's almost nothing else available in terms of highly detailed and poseable figure iteration of Samus, I kind of wish that this figure had everything to fulfill my Metroid fantasies. If you're a fan of the series, a fan of Nintendo, or just like girls with powerful robot suits in general, then you can't go wrong by picking up this set. Anyways, this has been Type V3, thanks for watching, and hopefully this isn't the last we see of the ex-Galactic Federation soldier.